by geography and we are looking at the map of South Africa. Now you need to know what your neighboring countries are. Okay, and they from left to right they go around the map. Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, um, Swaziland and Lesotho. Lesotho is quite special because it's completely landlocked. It's completely inside of South Africa. Swaziland shares a border with South Africa and also with Mozambique. And then you need to know each of the nine provinces. Okay, but you also need to know the capital city. Now this map isn't 100% correct. It's quite an old map. But let's have a look at it quickly. We've got the Western Cape. This is where we live. And we live in a capital city, which is Cape Town. Then we've got the Northern Cape. And in the Northern Cape, Kimberley is your um, capital city. Further up, we've got Northwest Province. Okay. And this one shows... It doesn't actually show the capital city here. The capital city of the Northwest Province is Mahikeng. It used to be Mafeking. It's now Mahikeng. Limpopo province, we've got Polokwane as its capital. Mpumalanga used to be Nelspruit. Have a look, this map is not updated. It is now Mbombela. Okay, that is the capital city of Mpumalanga. Gauteng, our capital city is Johannesburg. In the Free State, our capital city is Bloemfontein. In KwaZulu-Natal, Pietermaritzburg is the capital city. And in the Eastern Cape, Bishu. Okay, it's not on this map. Bishu is the capital city. And that, unfortunately, there's no easy way to remember it. You need to learn it off by heart. Now, I can give you a little clue for the neighboring countries. Okay, and you'll see the heading over there so it must seem a little bit funny. Naughty, busy zebras must sleep late. Okay, And what I've done is I've taken the first letter of each of the neighboring countries. So N for Namibia, B for Botswana, Z for Zimbabwe, M for Mozambique, S for Swaziland and L for Lesotho. And I've made a funny little sentence. Naughty, busy zebras must sleep late. And I've done it in the order in which it appears on the map. Okay, if I'm going from left to right and around. Okay, now if this method works for you, you could try a similar sort of thing with um, the various provinces and their capital cities. Okay, otherwise the best way to learn this is to take a blank map like you see on the screen now. And you can even pause the screen now if you want and to label them label this map go over it rub it out try it again you need to be able to label all of the provinces all of the capital the capital cities in each province you need to be able to label all the neighboring countries and you should be able to tell me that the atlantic ocean is on the west coast and the indian ocean is on the east coast Right, what is your teacher going to ask you? Well, she could give you that blank map of South Africa we've just looked at. Okay, she could ask you to label um, certain countries, uh, certain neighboring countries, or certain provinces, or the capital city in, the, in that province. Again, it's map work. I keep saying this. It's practical. Okay, a map will be involved, and you'll have to answer questions on the map. Okay, she could even throw some di direction in here. She could say, um, what direction is Limpopo um, from the free state? So if you're standing in the free state, in which direction would you travel to go to Limpopo? And that's bringing in your compass directions again. Okay, chances are she'll give you a blank map and ask you to label certain places on the map. Good luck.